Hi everybody, I have a bonus class for you today. This one is not one of your kits, it's just something extra to give you some ideas on how to use your stamps. Um, this one also requires very little tools and uh, punches can be substituted. You don't necessarily have to use what I've used. These are just really simple candy holders and they just, the little punch kind of holds a little flap down. So what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is three and a half by six and three fourths, and I have scored it at three and three and a fourth. And these measurements will be listed underneath the video on Stamptastic. Okay, so after I did that, I scored it at three and three and a fourth. I'm going to round the corners with my corner rounder, and I'm going to put it upside down backwards so that I can see where I'm rounding my corners. And I do have the old style. The new style works better, I'm told, but I have yet to replace my old one. All right, so there we have that. And I also have a piece of DSP, and I did not write this down, but it is listed there on the side. I believe it's three inches by two and five eighths, and I rounded these corners as well. And you're gonna place the DSP right there on the front. Now, over here, I've stamped Santa, and you can see that I didn't stamp very well, but that's okay because my punch is only going to punch about, I don't know, maybe the top two-thirds of him, and even at that, it's going to cut it off a little bit, and that's okay. And you can use the other stamps as well. This one I used, a little present. All right, so I all I did was color him with the cherry cobbler, and I believe that this is Blushing Bride. And I'm going to layer him over a cherry cobbler scallop circle, the two and three fourths. And then the circle that I have that fits in here really well is this the smaller um, circle framelit. It's, it's the fourth one from the smallest, I think. So it's not the smallest, but it is small enough to fit in there just right. And I'm going to layer him with some stamp and dimensionals. Now I'm going to put some sticky strip. You want some really strong adhesive. Snail's not going to be strong enough for this guy. And you're going to just put this right here on this back layer. Right there. Peel it off. And I'm going to have him not halfway, a little higher actually. Let's see. I don't know. Let's close it and see where we want it about right there. We don't want it too far down because it'll be hard to take that flap off. I don't have my snail right here so I can't put that DSP down, but you get the idea. So it flips out like that. Now for the candy, I did put some snail underneath it so it'll stay. And for the ribbon, I do this all the time with my ribbon. I cut it lengthwise like this, cut it up the middle and you kind of get twice as much and it gives you that frayed look. And I tied it around and I just did a simple knot. I did not do a bow, but you can do whatever you want. Now for the sentiment, all I did was stamp it in stays on black on the old olive cardstock. And I want to show you a little trick that I learned somewhere to make these these pennant ends. If you'll if you'll cut up just a little bit, Toward, in the middle, then go toward to your corner and cut so that you meet the end of that first cut. And that, every time, will make you a perfect pennant end. Okay, one more time. Up the middle, and then from the corners, over. All right, and I put this on with dimensionals as well. And I just think that this, you know, if you needed to make a bunch of treats for school or for work, this is a really fast and easy way to make something really cute. And I even think if you have your Halloween stamps out and need that quickly too, this would make a great Halloween treat, Valentine treat, any kind of holiday treat. All right, I hope that you enjoy Stamptastic, and I will be back soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.